Hi again, uh, here we are to continue our discussion of using um, JavaScript and web APIs. Um, for this example, we're going to use the Open Weather Map API because it's particularly easy and it doesn't cost anything, right? All you need to do is make an account. So let's go take a quick look at the Open Weather Map um, website. So I'm going to go to Open. Actually, here, I'll, I'll Google it first. Let's uh, Google and we'll look for Open Weather Map. Okay, so this is Open Weather Map, um, you know, weather service, right? So we'll go here. I think it's openweathermap.org is the address, so you can go to it that way. Um, so here it is, and they pretty much just provide weather data um, on the internet, and they have an API that we can use to get to that weather data. So to see the API, we can go here to API, and they have, uh, you know, a current weather forecast, five-day 16-day um, historical and some other ones. We're going to just use the current weather data here. So let's click on current weather data API doc. And then you can see we get the, um, you know, access current weather data from any location, right? And then it says blah, 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 blah. And then it says in JSON, XML, or HTML format. So for this example, we're going to use JSON as the format. Okay, so we're going to load the data as JSON. So right below here, it says call current weather data for one location, and it gives us a, a sample call that we'll use with their API. So it says you can call by city name or country code, right? Um, and uh, it gives us the sample right here. So the sample API looks like this, right? It says api.openweathermap.org data slash 2.5 weather and then right here at the question mark this is where we include our query so it has to say q equals and then the curly brackets right here you're going to replace this with the name of a city so you could say london or you could say paris or barcelona or tokyo or whatever city you wanted to use um, and then open weather map would return to us json data for that city which would be the weather, right? The current weather forecast. Um, and this is actually not accurate too because, and they, I don't know why they don't show it here, but you also need to include your API key on the end here. And you can see that these actually fail. Hopefully they're gonna fix these one day, but when I see this examples of API call right here, you know, this gives us a sample and we can click on this and you can see it says Q equals London. So we should be seeing the weather for London, but instead we get an error message, right? And it says invalid API key. And that's because we need to actually include the API key on the end. And they kind of give us a sample here, but their API key is broken, right? So let me copy the address here and we'll take a look at it. Um, We'll paste it here, and so uh, it's a little long there, right? So let's um, let's put this on the end like that, right? So you can see here um, what it says is it says uh, let me move that over a little bit there, right? So it says weather, and then it says question mark, or and then Q or for query equals city name London comma UK. So you can put the the country or the probably the state like you know San Francisco California right um, and then it says ampersand and so like this is a variable that's part of the query and this is the value for that variable and then the ampersand says hey let's start a new variable which is API ID and the value is and then that's the API key okay and then it, and then the sample code the API key has um, has you know expired or something right so this one doesn't work anymore right but what you're going to do is you're going to make your own api key and you're going to replace this with your api key and then it will work okay so we'll do that in the next video but let me let you right now go out to openweathermap.org and make an account and get your api key so what you'll do is you'll go to let me zoom out a little bit you'll go to sign up right and under sign up, you'll type in your username, your email, and your password, and then create account. And they may ask you to um, verify your account with an email. And when you do that, you'll come back here and you'll go to the um, 
to the profile or I forget what they call it, but it's like when you sign in, it'll take you to your profile page and there'll be a, a, a button up here that says APIs and it'll show you the API key and you can copy it from there, okay? So why don't you do that right now and then I'll stop the video and then I'll start a new video and um, we'll, we'll actually use the API in the next video.